Hi everybody, Adrian here. I'm still in a wonderful place, Bristol in the United Kingdom. I think you see somebody behind me. That's my great niece, Lily, and she's going to help us with the filming today. I have an assortment of food items and such uh, that are different to us for America and just some other random things that we're going to show. So I'm going to start off with, while out shopping, Catherine picked up beautiful cotton napkins because I don't believe in using paper napkins because, you know, good ecology, but you do what you want. I do what I want. And Catherine just, these are so pretty. And for four, it was about six dollars. Okay, so terrific. Looks so pretty on the table. It's a really lovely, lovely pattern. All right, so now we've showed that. When I was in Devon visiting my nephew Matt's mom, I got to meet Pam, and that's her grandma. Um, so one of my souvenir takes away is, what's this one, Lily? Seagull poop? Okay, chocolate-covered raisins. Lily doesn't like raisins, but my son, who's taking care of my cat and everything, he loves them. So I thought, that's a good souvenir from Devon, and he'll have a candy he really likes. This is an um, item that's just different from what I'm used to for us in America. And it's just tissues. Yeah, tissues. But they come in a convenient square shape. Very easy. And they came in a four pack. And when you pull it out, it's quite similar to our long boxes of tissues. So it's a different shape, just something small that's very, very different to what we know. Okay, what's an item that I I purchased to bring back with me? Ah, oh, Bisto. This is the most delicious beef flavor granules to make gravy. And it's a really good flavor. You love the gravy with this every Sunday, don't you, Lily? Yeah. All right, fantastic. So I'm bringing that back home with me. Needed to just do a little re-up because I had brought my Target brand baby wipes. You know, they're just keep a little bit more sanitary and beautiful. So here's locally, we were able to find, look at that, Pampers. And these were maybe a dollar fifty. You would not get a branded baby wipe for a dollar fifty. Terrific. Love it. Continue loving it. So we'll put that back down over here. Need a room. We went to the shop that Catherine got the napkins. I got this terrific little selfie light stand but as you can see here the way she's holding it it fits your hand very very comfortable so i can go into a store and be able to film very comfortably and this was only about four dollars and fifty cents it does, as you see in the picture, comes with a light as well. And if you wanted to make it be the tripod, just simply put these items down and you've got a tripod. Small, lightweight, ergonomically designed for $4.50, remember, with a light. Fabulous. Okay, so we have that. I really did want to be able to show you that. Um, look at this. Look at It's the big Linder Easter egg. 
This is my favorite chocolate. And when you take it out of the box, you get a big gold Easter egg of chocolate, Lily, right? Yeah. This is a really big one. I'm going to take it out and have Lily hold it so we can just really see how huge, how huge is this egg? Come on, come by, Auntie. All right. There's Lily with that giant golden egg. Mmm, I can't wait to <laughs> chomp into it. But not only did I get a big giant egg from the bunny, it came with 22 individual chocolates. Oh, Lily and I are both like, wow. So, some little miniature lint candies. 22 of these and the big egg. Wahoo! Yay! That is so cool. I can't wait to eat our chocolate. Okay, because I didn't need any chocolate at, at Easter. So, cool beans. We'll go ahead and just put that down there for now. Get it out of the way. Now, what Lily's going to help me with, you hear that noise? I'm going to first hold up this big shopping sack. And this is from a store called The Range. This big bag, I love the blue and orange. And it says, savings galore at your favorite store. It's in the bag. You know how much I love a slogan on a bag and it's so huge. And we needed a huge bag because we bought so many different crisps, right Lily? Yeah. We call them crisps. So the, Lily picked this one and it's french fry crisps. So I think these are probably uh, rather airy pieces to eat. Look at the size of this. This is as big as Lily. Oh, and it's, it's different flavors. We have salted cheese and onion. I'm trying to show them, Lily. Okay. Salted cheese and onion, salt and vinegar. So lots of flavors on that one, right, Lily? Yeah. Okay. What else is in the bag? Oh, this was the last big bag that they picked off of the counter. Monster Munch. Twelve bags of good fun. Look at those characters on this. And what flavors are they saying? Okay, Lily. Lily, roast beef. Roast beef flavor. Pickled onion flavor and flame and hot. We know which one I'm not eating. Will you eat the hot, hot one? Nope. Okay. We're both going to save our tongues, but that is just wonderful. And it says it's suitable for monsters and vegetarians. <laughs> That's such a great slogan. Okay. What else do we have? All right. Lily and I are going to show you. I think we've all heard of a product called Marmite. And in Australia, it's Vegemite. It's, it's a different type. But um, this is made of yeast. It has a very distinct flavor, doesn't it, Lily? Do you like it? Yeah. No, not so much. Not so, much. so what's funny of this, it's the Marmite with peanut butter. So this Marmite is extremely nutritional. It's vegan, called a yeast extract fortified with B vitamins. And the yeast extract from barley, wheat, and oats and vegetable juice, vitamins are added. So it's a very nutritious spread to put on your toast. I think it's been open, so we're going to go ahead. We're not going to eat it. <laughs> Lily and I are going to just say, okay, can you see that consistency? It's really thick. It's really, really thick in there. Yay! It's shiny. And shiny, right. So, showing you an item that I don't believe that we see on our shelves maybe in a specialty store, right? So we can put that back down in the bag. And while, okay, 
I had to get two cans. Canned curry. You know how I don't like to be in the kitchen. And I adore curry. And look at that, it's a pop top. So, this is going home with me like the bistro granules to make gravy. Cool beans. But they're not beans. But we do have beans in the bag, don't we? Yeah. Okay, we have it two ways. Now, everybody's heard of Heinz baked beans. And they have it in a pop top. And your brother, Oliver, he loves baked beans. He is a good Brit. He loves his baked beans. And they eat baked beans on their big English breakfast fry-up, which is two eggs, bacon rashers, sausage, grilled tomato, grilled mushrooms, and a big pile of baked beans on the plate. <laughs> and just say some black pudding. Oh, yeah. We're not going to talk about black pudding. You can see we wouldn't be eating black pudding. But here we are. See that little thing here? I've got the cardboard that it came in. They call them snap pots. You can show all the sides of it. And that's one serving of beans conveniently bought. How many comes in this? Four. So Oliver, you give him these beans and a sausage. That's, what do we call your afternoon? Tea. We call it a tea, right? Is that what you're, what, is that what you eat? When we have hot meals, it's called dinner. When we have cold meals, it's just called lunch or tea. Or tea. And they don't have tea at the tea. <laughs> so there's two ways of getting Heinz baked beans, especially for Oliver. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that back in the bag and we didn't want it. Okay, we got a couple more. This is the first one that I saw. And it said, strong. Oh my goodness, it says perfect with beer. I don't think Lily's going to be having beer to eat this with. And the flavor, hot chicken wings. Oh my goodness. You could see why that would go well with beer. Because it's, you know, it's going to get your tongue with this hot chicken spicy. Wonderful. And I just love that it says, Perfect with beer. Enjoy the ultimate taste experience in every bite. Well, you know, I won't be bringing this home because this would just be a bag of powder after I tried to pack it, right? No preservatives, no artificial coloring. In England, they have very, very strict rules about what they will allow. Okay, we're getting towards the end of this particular video. And look at us still ridge cut, and we call these crisps, not chips like we say in America. Everything is a crisp when it comes to say, because what's a chip, Lily? It's like a big potato cut and fried, but bigger than a French fry, kind of like the size of a potato you might get at KFC. So that's potato, what, what are those guys? Chips and crisps. Right, crisps. <laughs> I'm getting so confused. Good thing I'm not, you know, in a restaurant trying to order. So we showed you a lot of different, we showed this one already, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Lily. <clears throat> We showed you a lot of different foodstuffs. And that is our first foodstuff haul that we're going to do. Lily, would you like to say goodbye to everybody for me? Goodbye. Do you love your great auntie? Yes. Oh, she loves me and I love her so much. So we're going to do another video together, aren't we, Lily? Yep. Yep. Lily's very, very good. Lily has beautiful, long, curly, curly, curly hair, and she's known as Messy Head. She don't like to brush it. <laughs> She'll wash it, and you should see those curls coming when she does that. Lily, uh, you do jujitsu, right? Yeah. 
she wears a pink gi, right? That's what you call yep. your outfit. And yesterday when she went to jujitsu, she got a new stripe on her belt. Fantastic. Congratulations, Lily. This little girl is not going to take nothing from nobody. She's strong. She's smart. She don't put up with chill. We don't say that. Okay. Goodbye from Bristol. G goodbye from Bristol. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're going to go ahead and push the off button. Terrific.